The larger concept for this landscape is sensorio, and I thought Bruce's exhibit would be such the, the right introduction for people to get a, just to get a feel for what what sensorio and it's when it's finally done could be like. And the and the idea is to give people as I say, it's an exercise, not an exercise in the mind, but it, it is directed to the mind. It's almost an intellectual activity in a sense. The field of light for me is, is a, it's a passion. It's something that I've dreamt of taking uh, across the world to basically br simply bring a bit of joy and, um, and, and uh, connection to people. There's thousands of man hours that go into it and this is a piece of work that is made by many. It's not just one person. And, uh, you know, everybody is essential. Um, so I always say we're all a part of a cake and we are all a little bit, a slice of cake. And uh, the cake is only made whole when actually the visitors come because uh, you don't have an artwork without people coming to see it. Every single fibre is handled. There's 60,000 stems, but uh, the meterage of fibre is, you know, it's miles of fibre. Yeah, so 230 um, projectors, uh, they're all solar powered. Uh, so it's a very green uh, installation in that sense. Um, it also makes it gentle on the landscape because we're not running ca cables under, under the landscape. Uh, um, it's taking the power from the sun, which is lovely, and then leaking it out at night. There are going to be, it's, it's a solar powered installation. Uh, there are going to be 60,000 stems. The number isn't chosen randomly, it's actually how many stems we need to fill this huge space. Um, and uh, it will be the biggest installation I've ever done by quite some margin. Um, but as I said, it wasn't trying to do it bigger for the sake of being bigger, it's just what the landscape requires. The question uh, comes to mind is how did this all begin and how did, it, how did I meet Bruce? Uh, <clears throat> we were inspired by his work in um, a place in the outback in Australia called Uluru. As the sun went down and the, the darkness appeared, out of, out of the darkness came this incredible, I don't know, uh, light. I, I, how could I say it was light? and uh, the experience of walking through it, um, the, the, the peaceful feeling that, you, um, that came from walking through it, uh, the, it sort of calmed down and, and it, the, the jet lag never did show up because I was, I was so taken by the, uh, by the exhibit itself. I couldn't get out of my head what Uru was and how it was so um, so comfortable and so part of the landscape and and so appropriate so to speak and yet and and so e ephemeral as well it was very e ephemeral in other words you know when 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 it goes it'll be gone and the landscape will not not be altered essentially so then I I couldn't get this out of my head and I said you know, given the landscape we have here in, in Paso Robles and this, these um, sort of hidden valleys uh, that are present here on this property, I started to imagine that something like the Field of Light could, um, could happen here. What is interesting about Sensorio, when you say uh, this is a place for the mind, what I felt meeting you and Bobby was it was a, a place for the spirit and mind. And I really do believe that a lot of the work that I do is very spirit-based without trying to overlay it on anything. I, uh, Uluru for me was a, uh, an, an experience I wasn't expecting. I arrived at Uluru and I got this incredible reaction to the landscape. And I always say it was a present given to me from the landscape because, you know, I happened to be working in light at the time and. I felt that there was, there was a sense of energy in the ground and in the air and I guess it was a, how I was going to express it. So rather if I had been any good with paints and things I might have drawn and painted a picture but you know I wasn't so I worked with lights and my, my uh, 
reaction was to create a field of light. But it took 12 years to, to get the first one. 12 years from the, from the idea into my, uh, uh, in a field at the back of my home and, uh, and, uh, and, and a mortgage as well. So it, 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 it's been a long, long journey. And to, to uh, create the Uluru project was one thing, but I feel that people that I've, you know, my experiences that it does change people. It puts a smile on people's uh, faces and it gives them a warm heart and, and you're doing this in Passarowals so I think that people will, I hope that they come and, and enjoy it.